Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to add row number to the rows in the SSR SR report. We will create our tabular report and then add the row numbers to it. And then we are going to convert that tabular report to the group report and then add the row number by per group. And the, 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 that's how you will see them. So first of all, let me show you the query I'm going to use it. This is the query and I am returning with the uh, lemon records uh, now let's go to the ssdt sql server data tools uh, and then uh, create a new report uh, so sales.rds is our shared data source that's pointing to the sales database uh, so that's fine that's where our table is so we are good C uh, click on the reports uh, add new item now go to the report and provide the name so i'm going to call this one row numbers and here hit add empty report is created and now we have to create the data source so here add data source and here we have two options we can create embedded data source or we can use existing shared data source I'm going to use the shared one and I'm going to use sales and here we can use the SS sales that's the name we are given hit ok next part will be adding a data set so right click add data set and uh, we have the query I'm gonna call this one D set sales and uh, this is going to be embedded as well because this will be used only for this report so select the data source provide your query here and hit OK now once you click uh, here and uh, go to insert and we will see the table here I'm using a lot of here here there here so okay I'm gonna use here and there together now bring your columns here <laughs> and uh, you will drag them in this these cells and uh, next part is uh, you can click here as well as and uh, you can select uh, from uh, the drop down and now let's expand that the last part we want to do uh, bring the region so bring the region and then finally preview report is looking good what we want to do we want to add the row number or serial number whatever you call at the end of uh, this uh, uh, column set so right click here go to the insert column right and then uh, here provide the, the column name you are going to call this one uh, uh, maybe serial number s number or s hash once you have it uh, the name of the column right click here and then go to expressions in the expressions uh, you will be finding a function uh, in the miscellaneous uh, called row number so double click on the row number and then uh, we have to provide the scope as uh, we want the row numbers uh, for all of the rows uh, it, the scope should be simply to the data set uh, we can call it nothing that will be taken to the scope uh, of data set uh, if we will want to provide we can go ahead uh, and write uh, the data set name so that will be d set and then uh, sales so your choice if you will provide nothing it the scope is going to be by default to the data set and uh, uh, otherwise you can go ahead and provide the data set and now run the report we see that one two three and all the way 11 is created one thing I wanted to tell you when I was writing query so there is a row number function here that we can use in the tsql and generate that number so anything I I can do in the query I always recommend to do it and if there is no possibility and uh, that's that that we have to have do in SSRS then we would do it but uh, anyways we are learning uh, SSRS and how to use this row number function here next part uh, I want to create a group uh, instead of region uh, having region repeating here I want to have region uh, as a group uh, so let go let's go back uh, click here and then go to the add group uh, parent group uh, and then provide uh, the name of that uh, uh, column so here we are going to use the region and uh, hit ok preview it now you can see that uh, it is grouped by the region uh, there is another region we see here that we can go ahead and delete it so I'm going to go ahead and delete we don't need this column anymore because we have the group column now click uh, here and then bold italic and change the color so it will look like a report now next part what we want to do we want to add a row number 
per group. So for each of the group, it should start with one and go all the way. So here we have four records, so it should end in four and then again, uh, it should have uh, uh, started for Europe. Uh, so wh what we want to do for each of the region, uh, the number should change. And uh, if we have 100 million records uh, for Asia, it should show one to 100 million. That's that's not really going to happen. 100 million records, uh, you will not be displaying in the report. But what I'm saying, like whatever the numbers of rows each group has, that you want to have a row number for that. So let's go back here. Now. Uh, right click here, insert a column on the right and I'm going to name this one row number by group. These uh, expressions are very important and uh, uh, you can learn a lot of uh, things from here and uh, right click and go to the uh, expressions. Now we go to the common function and go to miscellaneous go to the row number you can write by yourself is equal to row number if you don't want to write it just all the way find the function double click and then write it now the scope has changed so if you see the our group name is the region so before that we have put the data set name this time we are going to put region that's our uh, group now the scope is according to the group let's go and preview the report and you can see that so for serial number we have 1 to 11 but here for the Asia region you can see 1 2 3 4 and then again we are starting with the 1 2 and 3 for Europe and then again for North America we start with 1 2 3 4 so that's how you can create a, excuse me the row number for all the in, in data for all the rows in a data set or you can change or have them by the group so thanks very much for watching this video and i'm going to see you in the next video